What's up guys, Shane Starnes here, and if you're looking for a 4K Android TV streaming device that doesn't suck, Xiaomi has you covered with the Mi Box S. Big shout outs to Xiaomi for sending me this device for review and also sponsoring this video. This is basically going to fit the bill if you're looking for a reliable 4K streaming device that has Android TV built in. First up, we'll take a look at the design. This is a super simple matte black plastic build. On the back you'll find an audio port, an HDMI port which does support 4K, a USB port, and a dedicated power port. Unfortunately what you won't find here is an Ethernet port to hardwire it into your network. However you can use that USB port to add Ethernet if you must have a hardwired solution. However, I found that the wireless solution that's built in was plenty enough speed for me and I didn't find my video buffering at all. That being said, I do have a really solid one gigabit Wi-Fi connection. If your Wi-Fi is spotty, maybe you will want to hardwire this box. Next up, we'll take a look at specs. This does have the same setup as what we got last year on the Mi Box with the addition of 4K support. So you're gonna get a quad core CPU, you're gonna get two gigabytes of RAM and eight gigabytes of storage. If eight gigabytes of storage is not enough for you, you do have that USB port in the back, so you can add storage with a USB thumb drive. That storage is adoptable storage, so you'll be able to use it to add more applications to this device. When it comes to performance on this device, out of the box, it operates splendidly. It is set at 720p natively out of the box. You do have to go into the settings and set it up for 4K resolution. Even when I did set it up for 4K resolution, going from app to app and scrolling through the menus, I didn't find any stutters or lags. And for me, this performed great as a streaming device. This device was also able to load just about any game that I threw at it. However, I did find some compatibility issues with the remote that came with the device and the games that I was trying to play. This still should be good for some very light gaming, but just keep in mind that this is not really meant to be a gaming device, rather it's meant to be a really good 4K streaming device. One of the main features of the Mi Box S and one of the things that makes it such an incredible value is that it does include Chromecast Ultra. So that means you can actually cast 4K video to your device from your phone, just like with a Google Chromecast Ultra. The only thing is that this is much cheaper, or at least about $10 cheaper than Google's official Chromecast Ultra. So if you're in the market for a Chromecast Ultra, you should probably go with the Mi Box S. You're going to save some money and you're gonna get the exact same functionality. The Mi Box S also has the Google Assistant. You can even access it from your remote and use voice commands. You can use this to control devices that are connected to your network within your house. You can also use this to call up whatever videos you want to watch, and you can search for anything including weather, sports, and music. Taking a look at the remote, this is nothing to write home about, but it is definitely usable. It has a plastic build and it does include two AAA batteries in the box, so the remote control is not rechargeable, which is kind of a bummer, but it does take those standard AAA batteries. You do have a dedicated Netflix button. You do have the Google Assistant button. In the middle, you'll find the menu button, back button, and the home button. The only pain point I could find with this device is the fact that it does not include support for Amazon Prime Video. If you're not a subscriber to Amazon Prime Video, it won't be a deal breaker. And even if you are, I don't think that this one thing will be a deal breaker for you. And who knows, maybe Xiaomi will be able to ink out some kind of deal with Amazon in the near future. At $39.99, this is an incredibly hard deal to beat, especially if you're just looking for a reliable 4K streamer. I'll be sure to include links in the description of where you can pick yours up today. Day. That about wraps it up for this video. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.